Hello, hello, hello. Melissa Pang here, aka The Curly Executive. And we are here. It is a little late, but it is Monday. And you know what that means? It's time for Mindset Monday. This is Mindset Monday number four. It has been a long day, y'all. It has not been the best Monday for me. I'm not going to lie. But I am here. I was hoping to catch a fabulous sunset. I was hoping to film on my fancy camera. I'm here with my iPhone in my backyard. I'll have earrings on. There is no sunset. Um, and we're gonna keep this quick before the sun does go down because this is the sun setting right now. So we'll be back on a beautiful sunset day. But I'm here today because I made a promise to myself. And the question of the day is, how are you at keeping your promises to yourself? And if you kept every promise you made to yourself, what might your world look like right now? So promises is the theme of the day. The great thing, we're gonna keep it short and sweet. I do have an awesome new worksheet for y'all. But before we get into that, you know what you need to do. If you have done this already, if you have subscribed, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm about 85 subscribers in right now. I don't know when you're watching this video, but if you're watching it today, I'm only at 85 subscribers. You know I need to get to 1,000 for YouTube to pay me. You know I intend to keep doing all this free content for the rest of 2019. I'm coming at you two times a week, one for mindset, one for a weekly one-on-one. -on -one. Our first weekly one-on-one -on -one topic is next Wednesday. It is Path to Purchase, um, otherwise known as kind of the marketing funnel, so we'll talk about that. So hit that button right now. So with that, it is Mindset Monday time, y'all. Mindset Monday promises, right? Think about promises that you've made. Oftentimes we think about promises as things we make to other people, right? I promise you that I will get that to you today. I promise you that I will get that done. I pinky swear. We know that promises must be kept. We know that you are the sum of your word. We all agree in general that if we don't keep a promise to somebody else, it sucks. And in general, when we miss out on something we've committed to other people, we feel bad about it, right? We feel guilty we don't feel good that i think most people will agree on now what about the promises you make to yourself right what about when you tell yourself like yo by the time my next birthday comes up i'm gonna lose all this weight or hey i'm gonna work wake up every day i'm gonna do some rest i'm gonna do some self-care i'm gonna read what about all these promises that we make to ourselves ironically most of us feel that the promises that we make to other people, <coughs> and sorry, are extremely important. But when it comes to the promises that we make to ourselves, we regular renege and it's okay, right? When we work all day and we don't take that break that we promised ourselves to, and we don't step outside for a moment, breathe some fresh air, we're okay with that. But when we forget to send an email to somebody, we feel bad about it. So I'm gonna pause there and let's think about that for a second. If you were to keep every single commitment you made to yourself, where would you be today, right? What would it look like today? What would your life look like today? I'm gonna give you a quote, and this is kind of my one quote for the day, and then we're gonna jump into like this uh, worksheet that I've created for you. So this quote is a quote by Marie Forleo. It's, to be responsible, keep your promises to others. To be successful, keep your promises to yourself, right? And look guys, we got a little sunset coming in. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll put in an arrow, sunset. So to be successful, keep your promises to yourself, right? If we did the things that we told ourselves that we really wanna do for ourselves, if we prioritized ourselves a little bit more, we would be more successful. And I, I, I go to say, like, I take it even further and say that we would not only be successful, but we'd be in better places to help those around us, right? It starts with you. Take care of you first. Hmm? Take care of you first, your family first, then your community. That's what Oprah says. I don't have that specific quote, but trust me, she said it. So with that, how? Like, that's the question. So yes, we've all bought in. 
I need to keep, keep my promises to myself. I need to keep my commitments to myself, but I'm apparently bad at it. So how do I do it? What I have made for you this Mindset Money is another fabulous worksheet. It is another PDF download. You can go and get it on my site. I will link it below. Go to curlyexecutive.com. You will be able to find this beauty and I'm going to pop it up right around here. So we're gonna do some video magic and it's gonna be here. This worksheet is amazing for you. It has a couple of different questions and what it really is is a promise tracker like that. Because we need to do a couple things. Like if you were gonna hit any goal, number one, you've gotta state and understand that goal. Part of the thing is that when we make a promise to other people, we will say like, I promise you, I will make sure I get it done. But when we make a promise to ourselves, oftentimes they're just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that, right? So you gotta take it seriously. You need to write it down. So that's the part one of this worksheet. Write down your commitments to yourself for each week. Number two, once you've written down those commitments to yourself, what are the things that you actually need to do consistently, right? So if I'm committing to finishing my Ironman training, I need to, work out six times a week, right? So if I'm not working out six times a week, then I can't get this done. If I'm gonna work out six times a week, I need to wake up so that I have that extra hour and a half in my day, it's an Ironman, to work out, right? So this sheet is gonna include one, a list of the things that you're trying to promise yourself, that you're promising yourself for the week. Then a list of the things that you, the actions that you need to complete in order to keep that promise as well as how many times a week. And there's a nice little checklist here. So you can check off, like I did it on Monday, I did it on Tuesday, I did it on you know, Wednesday, and another one, and another one, right? So we've got that done. Then there's this question, right? Accountability. So you've got, you've got the, the consistency, you've got the accountability piece. So we got the accountability and the checking it off, but you also have that question. Did you meet your goal? Did you keep your promise, right? Did you keep your promise? And here's the more important part, right? I got the birds coming out now um, and the bats were in Austin, y'all. Did you keep your promise? And if you did not keep your promise, or even if you did, right? Is there something you should maybe rejig or change? Like, yo, I kept that promise, but it would really be helpful if I wake up at 5 a.m. because then I could get my workouts in in a little bit more peaceful way. Whatever it is, right? What did we learn? How do we keep getting better? at doing this. If you didn't keep the promise, again, what did we learn? How do we get better? Because all of this is things that we're working on, right? We're getting better at it. And then finally, what's one thing we did well? Because life is not about beating yourself up. We are all working, we're working on this together. Um, and then that's it. That is the worksheet. The worksheet is available under my worksheets uh, library. It is Mindset Monday number four. It is a $2 download. I do charge these, charge for these. Um, it helps me cover the cost of making these videos. It helps me cover the cost of um, making the actual worksheets for you. So feel free to support. As you just saw, I put it up on the YouTube and I am totally uh, not gonna knock you if you just copy it. So if you don't have the two bucks, go ahead and just make your own. Um, but if you do download it, it's an editable PDF. And more importantly, when you use it, message me, tell me if this was helpful, comment. I am doing this too. We can, we can like check in and say, hey, are you keeping your promise? You guys can literally ask me, Melissa, have you been doing your Ironman workout? Um, I'm gonna be posting that on my personal channels, like my channel and my husband and my vlog channel. So I'll put those down here so you can actually follow me and see if I'm keeping it. But the goal is just getting us to a place where we're committing to our own promises to ourselves. That's how we get successful. That's how we get successful in business. That's how we do things effectively in marketing. That's how you work as a solo entrepreneur, as a leader for your team, um, as a leader in your family. So that is it for Mindset Monday. We kept this shorter than usual. <laughs> um, and I just, I hope this is helpful. I'm so happy we got this done. The sun has now set. Uh, it is nighttime. Uh, my iPhone is, is uh, is uh, crackling on us because that's what iPhones do at night. We need to work on that iPhone. Um, and I look forward to hearing from y'all. Uh, as a reminder, Wednesday, we are gonna get into Pass to Purchase, otherwise known as kind of the marketing funnel. 
I am so excited for this topic, y'all. There are webinars that are now listed and live on my site. We are starting webinars. They are live because I want to be there for y'all. They do include Q&A and they were reasonably priced and it's the best way to work with me on a budget. I am also super excited to tell you that I am about to launch my courses. My courses are coming in August. Now, what are these courses? They're going to give you everything to get from zero to online. So that's a lot of stuff, but a lot of digging into your marketing strategy um, and doing a little bit um, more honed work on branding, content, marketing funnels, all that good stuff. So those courses launch in August, but the live betas for those courses launch very soon in June. So what does that mean? I'm going to be teaching these courses live to a very small group of people um, who will also get the courses when they launch. And I'm also going to be doing a pre-sale of the courses and they're all going to be 50% off. So that has not gone live yet, but it will be going live very soon. And the last thing I'll say before these lights run out on me, let's turn this way. Yes. Before the light runs out on me is um, if you are in Texas, if you are in Texas, listen to this. We have two grants. Curly Executive has launched two grants in partnerships with a nonprofit, Boss Babes, uh, ATX. They're for Texas women, sorry men, and they are gonna give you um, the possibility of getting $500 or $1,000 for your business and coaching with me as well as uh, a year's worth of Boss Babe program. So check it out, it's totally free, no strings attached. Um, and the application is now live and it's on my website. So with that, I will say goodbye. I'm gonna get into the light, see if you can see me a little better. Goodbye, uh, go and check out Mindset Monday. Tell me if this was useful. I love y'all. Subscribe if you did not subscribe earlier. This is the subscribe to me by music. This is the subscribe to me music. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you for subscribing.